Hello and welcome to a proper guide how to play the auction house. Um, before we start, I will just say that I'm tired, like very tired of seeing gold guides on YouTube that claims to have some kind of, I don't know, they found like the holy grail of gold grinding or anything like that. That's not true. You're gonna have to work for it, but it can be done with just some basic knowledge. Now I will show my routine how I have made all my gold. First I will go into my statistics. Now the numbers can be a bit hard to see on the screen. Basically I have made 2.5 million gold um, and the most gold I have ever owned is a little over 600k gold. Now all this gold has not been bartered or I don't know cheated or anything like that. I haven't even done anything raid sells or anything like that. It has all been gotten through playing the auction house and using my professions. Every now and then I would maybe spend a couple of weeks, maybe a whole month, uh, playing the auction house ca casually, uh, not too much uh, time spent it. over the years I have played WoW. Now I'm a virtual in WoW and obviously if you're just going to start up playing the auction house now, you're going to have to work a bit. Uh, the professions are the most important part. You need to have professions leveled and resets gotten for them. But once you have that going, it's pretty easy. Actually, it doesn't even require anything. Now, I will go to the auction house now and show my routine, how exactly how I do it. Now, I only use one add-on for my auction house playing. I have never used any other add-ons. You don't need many add-ons, but I, rec but I rec recommend you get auctionator add-on. Now the auctionator add-on can, uh, as you can see now, I'm running an undercut scan. Basically this tells if I'm being undercutted and then I can spam click when it's done. It's gonna take a little while for it to get through all my auctions. I have about a hundred auctions right now on the uh, AHO. So now you can see what I'm selling by doing this. Now, the professions I have on the, the, my druid here, which is the main character, I am doing shuffling on this guy, so I'm buying ores, and then prospecting them, and then I'm sending those materials off to my mage, which is an enchanter, and that's basically it. I don't even use alchemist, you could level alchemy uh, to get even more gold from uh, shuffling ores. Now, if you don't know what shuffling ores is, you can just type it in YouTube and you will get a good explanation how to do that. Now, I was undercutted with 42 of my items, so I will just quickly get them out of the auction house now. Now, it's been about mm, two hours since I last checked my mailbox, so let's see what kind of gold I made since then. Now I'm just looting all the mail from the mailbox and then we will see my total gold earned in like two hours where I really haven't been online. So this is just a good kind of showcase of what you can earn even if you don't spend too much time on it. Okay, I had earned 350 gold there. Uh, it's not much. My total today is about 3000 gold or so. Um, last couple of days has been very good. I have earned like, uh, I don't know, over two weeks soon I have earned like 50-75k gold. I don't really recall how much. But basically I have earned plenty. And it's not uh, because I spent too much time on it. You have to undercut using this add-on maybe 20-30 times a day. Um, depending on your server. If you're on a low populated server you maybe not have so much competition so you don't have to spend as much time on it but I'm on a medium populated to almost high populated and cause I'm on that kind of a server I need to undercut more than usual and now as you can see I'm just posting my auctions that have been undercut Okay, almost done there.
Now my biggest sellers right now have been weirdly enough Wine Song and uh, Elemental Force. Those two uh, enchantments have sold pretty good and keeps a high price. The most important part uh, about earning gold is always to kind of be there before your competition. Um, you can try reset gem prices if there's only a few on the auction house left. I do that quite often. Um, as, you, as you can actually see right now, my last soul item that hasn't gone to my mailbox is a Sobble Sun Radiance gem, uh, 320 dodge. I reset it this morning. Um, I bought like the three last gems left on the auction house. And then I reposted them at 150 gold. Now they were under card 290 gold, but I already sold one. So I earned like 75 gold resetting a gem right there. So that's nice. Else, I also use my leather working. I have pretty much all the recipes you need to earn gold uh, with leather working. This takes some time because you have to kind of do it daily. But what I've also been selling is brutal leg armor and all the other kind of small leg armors. You don't have to earn gold on Spirit of Harmony. Those are also good uh, gold, but you don't need to uh, uh, rely on those. Now, the most profit I've made from Level Waking has become from making Accelerate the Hardest Magnificent Hide. The resub has gotten very easily. You can look that up on Woolhead. Nothing there. Um, I can give an example right now. I have this this belt here. I have the snow little belt on the auction house right now for almost ten thousand, uh, nine thousand gold. Now the materials costed on my server was about five thousand five hundred gold, and with the auction house card, after it has been sold, I will earn like two thousand gold in profit, maybe a little more. So that's a pretty de decent uh, sale, and I can sell one of these belts maybe every three or four days. Um, sometimes I've sold them uh, slower, sometimes I've sold them faster. It all depends how much I spend on the auction house, on the cutting people, and also kind of where when you're selling it. Now, this patch we're in right now, whoa, is old, so not a lot of people are buying new gear, but it still happens when people are making new characters and the likes. Now, as you can see right now, I have done kind of the routine that I do quite often, many days, but I will also just quickly showcase what I need to do to kind of keep this routine going. You need to buy materials all the time. So what I have done is make a spay marker for the trade channel, and then I also look on the auction house very often for the materials that I need, that I use to make uh, gold on. Now it's not going to be every day that you get a lot of cheap materials, but it can happen. Uh, in like uh, these couple of ch last two weeks that I have been playing auction house, I have bought around 300, 400 ores uh, for a cheap price. You have to get kind of lucky. Now, as you can see right now, the price is kind of high, uh, 29 gold a stack, on, uh, and I like to get them below 25 gold on my server. On your server, the prices can vary a lot, of course. Uh, this is just my server. I know when I will buy it, because I'm going for uh, the right price. Now, this is also a little too high for levers, so I will not buy anything now. You need to check for materials and spam the trade channel with a handy macro quite a lot every day. Um, this is probably the most important part because if you can't get cheap materials, you're never gonna make gold. It's just simple as that. Anyways, there's no tricks to this, and that was basically just my druid. Now I will go in on my all characters. What has been selling really great lately has also been Taylor BUEs, like my, like the belt I just talked about. So I'll just quickly go in on my mage character now and showcase tailoring and enchantment. Now I make celestial cloth on this guy every day, and then I try to get some accelerated celestial cloth uh, made so I can make the BUEs. And the BUEs that I make is just the leggings of the night sky. I've sold like two or three of these in two weeks. 
they sell they seem to sell for a higher profit and faster than the uh, belt uh, the belted night sky this one doesn't seem to sell as high and as fast as the leggings I don't know why but that's just the case for me and um, now comes the most important part on this character enchantments now to make it kinda easy to always kinda know when the value is good on an enchantment scroll I have put each and every one of the enchantment scrolls that I sell in my uh, back here so I'll just list them quickly now Elemental Force, Wine Song, uh, Greater Parry and Shield, Major Intelligence, Greater Haste, Superior Expertise on Globs, Superior Mastery on Globs, Superior Strength on Globs, Superior Critical Strike on Cloak, Superior Intellect on Cloak, Accuracy on Cloak, Greater Protection on Cloak, Superior Resilience on Cloak, Enchanted uh, Mighty Spirit Chest, Superior Stamina Chest, Glorious State and Chest, Braces Mastery, Major Dodge Bracer, Greater Precision Boots, Greater Haste Boots, Blurred Speed Boots, and Pandaren Step Boots. Now, the, the highest uh, I sell in Champion Scrolls for my server right now are these two. Uh, the wine, uh, the Elemental Force and the Wine Song are pretty good right now. I sell a lot of these every day. Maybe five or so uh, Waypoint Scrolls every day. So that's like a thousand gold profit easily every day. Um, what hasn't been selling so good are stuff like Superior Resilience on Chest. Mighty Spirit and Chest, um, Expertise on Gloves and Accuracy on Cloak. S the best one is uh, Chest Glorious States. I sell this one, I can put it on the auction house and it sells within half an hour always. It goes very fast in this one. Others that have been really good are, uh, uh, yeah, this one. No, this one, Pandaren Step. This one has sold very fast as well. Always a good one. And uh, as you can see now, uh, I did some shuffling the other day because I bought a lot of ores. So in my mage, I have a lot of materials now to go through. I bought a lot of cloth for him. And I also bought a lot of... Um, or I made a lot of uh, disenchantment food from the shuffling with the ores. Now you should get a marker to disenchant your shuffling items fast so you don't have to use too much time in disenchanting because sometimes you need to disenchant over 300 items and if you don't have a marker for it it takes a little too long and that's basically the the crux of my wealth these two characters that I have showed now are the are all you really need so just get dual crafting enchantment and then whatever you need. I like level work and tailor just because they have always given me a good profit. Now in tailoring you can also make gear but lately in the expansion pack they haven't been selling so well. Um, this was good early on when it was new but it still sells some. I sell a few cloaks and maybe some boots like this one but else I would invest too much time in making these items right now. But definitely make enchantment scrolls with the shuffling of the ores and then sell gems. That is always a good profit. And then you can try to make the high BOEs. And that's basically all I wanted to tell. Now, as I mentioned at the start, I'm tired of gold guides that has this kind of idea that everyone can just get gold. Um, I don't say it's easy either. You have to do some work for it, you have to know some things, but don't try to make it seem complicated either. It's not that hard. Uh, back in Wrath of Lich King, which is now many years ago, I was dirt poor as well. I had no gold. I was farming dailies just to afford repairs pretty much. Uh, yeah, I had no gold. And uh, then I just started. I mean, it's not hard. I labeled some professions, I started doing some. Uh, looking around on forums, started reading a bit, and suddenly I had made my first, I don't know, 200,000 gold or so, and the rest just came from there. And years later, I have now 
made 2.5 million gold. Uh, so that's basically that's basically just one of what I wanted to say. This guide is true. I'm not lying. This is really just the best accurate way to earn gold right now. But it also depends a lot on your server, so you need to kind of know a few things before you start. But at least level some professions and invest maybe five to ten thousand gold without too much risk there, and then see where it goes. Uh, get the ball going. That's basically all you need to do. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope the video wasn't too long. And goodbye.